Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Jake Russell with 192 rating versus Emptiness002 with 414 rating, so this is going to be another DB rated video, and with that being said, let's hop right into this, and then we are going to see Jake win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot so they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we can see 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, and then they're going to decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Ash, Strike, Spinny, Sanctuary, Spinny. So, I mean, they're ending with like a, a couple interruptions. And then they have Gamma, Pikachu, Gamma, I Meet You, and Fire. And then they're going to start off by Normal Summon, Spinny, and then Spinny Effect. Ah, all oh, they're letting this go through. They don't know. Ah, oh, they don't know. So, if you read Spinny, says, if you control a Salomon Great monster other than Salomon Great spinning, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. But, wow, they didn't catch that. Wow, that sucks. I feel like a lot of people don't know that, though. They're going to go ahead and use that effect, and then chain Gamma, and that's going to bring out Driver, and then set and pass. They're going to draw, draw, and lock bird. Then they're going to go ahead and activate I Meet You. I feel like their turn would have actually just been better if they didn't even like try going for that. Crazy enough. And then activate. And then that will go ahead and reveal. And then go grab Doyon. And then normal summon out Pikachu. Pikachu effect. Chain Ash Blossom the gate. And then go for Dark Infant. And then they are going to strike the summon of that which is interesting that they're striking the summon and not the effect and then end phase take the damage pass draw jack and then normal summon out jack spinning effect bring itself out and then go ahead and turn spinning into bailings and then turn jack into bailings and then turn both of those into a wolf and then jack effect that will go ahead put back bailings bring itself out and then wolf effect We'll be adding back Ash Blossom from the graveyard. And then Battle Phase Poke Poke. And then go ahead and pass play. Draw Ash Blossom. Then they are going to normal summon out Doyon. Doyon effect. Add back Pikachu from the graveyard. And then turn that into a Dark Infant. Dark Infant 1. Doyon 2. Yeah, they're trying to Ash Blossom uh, that, but they can't do that, because obviously that's going to be activating too. Add back I Meet You, and then go grab Field Spell. And then activate Field Spell, use that effect. Yeah, this is just a game. Summon out Pikachu, Pikachu effect. And then they're going to chain Ash Blossom to that, but it doesn't matter. And then get rid of those for Cypress Wicked. Field, Summon out Fire, and then get those effects. And they admit defeat there. So now moving on to game two. We are going to see Salmon Great decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Roar, Parallel, Phantasma, Jack, and Strike. So they're going to end on a few interruptions here. And they have Pikachu, Called By, Amichu, Sign and Mining, and Lightning Storm. They don't have any hand traps. Normal Summon, and then go for Bailings, get those effects. Parallel, bring itself out, and Bailings to go search out for Sanctuary, and then Parallel to Summon. And then Parallel is going to go ahead and bring out Parallel from the deck. And then overlay those for number 60. And then number 60 effect the draw. So they're going to draw and then get rid of Roar because they're just going to be able to add that back. And then summon Wolf. Then activate Sanctuary. Relink into Wolf. And then Wolf effect to add back from the graveyard. And then Jack effect. That will go ahead and put back Wolf, summon itself out, and then Wolf Effect to add back. And they're going to add back the number 60 to the extra deck. And then get rid of Jack for Bailings. They could have also just, like, not put back number 60 and gone for Bailings. And, like, added back Jack. So that way they have, like, a monster in hand. But go ahead and then pass turn. Jordoyon. And then they're going to start off by activating L Storm, Chain Roar to negate that. Normal Summon out Pikachu effect, Chain Solemn Strike, that's going to negate and destroy that. And then set Called By, set Sign and Mining, pass turn. They cannot draw for turn because they activated number 60. Yeah, to top, don't shuffle. They should also show it there. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, you're supposed to show it there uh, and then put it back to the top and not shuffle. They're going to go ahead and activate wolf effect, add back roar, and then get rid of wolf for wolf. And then they're going to activate jack effect, target wolf, chain called by, smack that, and then battle phase poke. And then poke with that too. And then set. And then pass. They draw fire, which just isn't going to matter. They're going to activate I meet you. And then that will be revealing the light to go search out Pikachu. And then drop draw and Lockbird. And they admit defeat. So now moving on to the next game, we are going to see Adignister decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Droll, Will, Ash, Parallel, Bufferlow. So they do have a few hand traps. You need hand traps to stop this deck. And then they have Pikachu, I meet you, Ash, Wind, and Nib. So they are definitely lucky that they have hand traps here. Normal summon, and then they're going to activate that effect to go search out a spell or trap, go grab Island, and then drop draw on Lockbird, pass, draw C, and then normal summon out Bufferlo, and then get rid of that, make Bailinx, and then they're going to activate Bufferlo, Bailinx, and Parallel. So you now go ahead, bring that out, and then go search out Sanctuary, and then discard draw, Drawn to Kaiju and Bufferlo. So they're playing the Wind Kaiju. Is there a reason to play the Wind Kaiju specifically? Huh. Can't think of a reason. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then Parallel Effect. That's going to summon out Parallel from the deck. And then get rid of Parallel for Bailinx. C, bring itself out. And then get rid of those to make Woof. And then get rid of those two to make Update Jammer. And then they're going to activate Woof to add back from the graveyard, add back Bufferlo. And then turn this into Access Code. Effect, gank some attack. And then effect a pop. And then end the main phase, they're going to drop Nib. Pass over a token with 23-0. And then use will, will effect. And that's going to bring out the wolf from the graveyard. And then pass turn, draw nib. Then activate I meet you. And then said think, I just know the land. Yup. Activate ash, negate that. And then they're going to go ahead and attack over the token. Pass, draw sign and mining. There's no point of attacking wolf because they just like bailings protect that. And then sign a mining discard. They should have shuffled hand when they drew. And then they're going to chain Ash Blossom to gate that. Said so think a bit. They're going to go ahead and will. Summon out Bailings. Activate Sanctuary. Turn Bailings into Bailings. And then Wolf Effect. Add back Ash from the graveyard. And then pass. Draw I meet you. And then normal summon out Wind. Affect the dump. They're going to let that go through, of course. And that's going to go dump Doyon. And activate I meet you, chain Ash Blossom the gate, and then battle phase, attack Bailing, so just gonna let that perish, and then nib attack over, take the damage and Bailing protect, and then main phase two, go for Dark Infinite, Dark Infinite effect, go grab Island. So now they know two Island in hand now. And then pass, draw Jack. We're gonna go main phase, normal summon out buffer low. And then get rid of those to make Woof. And then buffer low effect. It's going to get rid of Jack. And then draw on the Falco and sign of mining. Then activate sign of mining. Get rid of Falco to go search out for the almighty Gazelle. And then Gazelle effect slap itself onto the board and then affect the dump. And then that's going to dump from the deck to the graveyard a roar. And then Woof effect to add back. It's going to add back roar. And then Falco effect, bounce gazelle, summon that out, summon it there, and then jack effect, and that will be putting back wolf, summon that out, and then wolf effect, add back ash from the graveyard. Ash has been putting in work, the same one. Go for number 60, and then they are going to drop nib on the summon before the effect, and then pass over a token. Oh. A little, a little corn token. Aw, oh, they, they gave him that one. 
Then will effect. It's gonna special summon back out. Summon out wolf because they started with like normal summon buffer low this time around. And then set roar pass, draw Pikachu. And then normal summon, use the effect. They're gonna chain roar to stop that. And then nib attack over token, pass, draw ash. Yeah, I mean, they just keep like throwing stuff at the board, but like they can just like keep bringing back their negates. So like, either they draw a starter, they stop it. Uh, they're trying to use wolf add back here, but that was some of the will that. Yeah, I just realized now. Yeah, they couldn't do that. Hey, at least they realized it. Go for wolf, and then wolf effect, add back. And that's gonna be adding back roar. And then will summon, and this is just game. They're gonna will get rid of it to bring out Falco and Jack. And then wolf effect to add back from the graveyard. They're gonna put back number 60. And then, yeah, sit saying GG's there. That was not a bad match there was a little bit to learn from that which i like i like it when there's stuff to learn also if you can tell me why they're playing the win kaiju maybe i'll learn something too uh again not exactly sure why they're playing this one like there's like gotta be a reason why they're playing the wind over something else but i don't know what it is <laughs> and then we're gonna see how long the match is wow that was a quick match it's like 24 minutes long. That was three games too. Right? Like I'm not I'm not stupid. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. That was only two games. That was only two games. Cause they hand trapped them. Wait, that was three games? What happened game one? Oh, I completely forgot about what happened game one. Yeah, I forgot. They tried to ash the link, but they dole on chain blocked. Okay, okay, yeah, that was three games. Dumb. I'm a, I'm a little dummy. I'm a little dummy. It happens. Wow, that was extremely quick for three games. Wow. Like, like I, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, there's not too much more to say about this. Um, oh, I, I guess there is one thing I want to say. I was talking to someone about the Ad Ignister extra deck and how Pac was playing uh, not the Light Dragon. I feel like that card, I feel like that card's pretty good. I feel like that card's pretty good. But, what do I know? I haven't played at Ignister. I don't plan on playing it for the time being, at least. I prefer other decks. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I don't even want to like play that deck. I just know it's not the best deck, and it doesn't seem fun to play either. It kind of seems like it does the same thing pretty much every single time. But with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.